The next thing we want to look at is the Windows Mobility Center, and this only shows up on laptops. If you install Windows 10 on a desktop, it will not have a Windows Mobility Center. Now, I am on a desktop right now, um, but I do have access to a laptop here um, through a remote device, and I'm just going to go ahead and call it up. Uh, oh, it looks like it's not online. Uh, just one moment. I'm going to go turn that on. Okay, I'm back. It looks like it did turn it on. It's just that um, I had changed the number on this thing. So it's, I believe it's this one I need. And here we go. This is a laptop that we're looking at. I'm going to call up Mobility Center, Windows Mobility Center. And there it is. I can change the brightness, the volume, uh, the battery status connect and, and unconnect external displays, presentation settings in case I want to project something, and the sync center, which is a particularly interesting one. In the next video, I'm going to have a guest video, when I pulled off of YouTube in other words, that talks about the sync center in more detail and explains how it's set up and how, uh, how files are handled in the sync center. But this is the Mobility Center. You should know uh, from Microsoft, because they really like this on the MTA for some reason, they really want you to know what you can do in this Windows Mobility Center.